Hi guys, it's Rampin FM, and today we continue our Cairn Beef career. We have a match against Dunfermline, it's a Fife Derby in the quarterfinals of the Iron Brew Cup. The Iron Brew Cup, obviously, we won last season, so hopefully we can win it again. I think uh, we will play Dundee United if we get through today, so that should be interesting because obviously that was the final last year. They're not doing too well, Dundee United, this season. It also could be our last season in the Iron Brew Cup if we obviously get promoted. A couple of changes, Aidan Wilson's off need of a rest, I think I mentioned it uh, in the last episode, that there's a few players, Jamie Semple as well, but he just wants to keep powering through because of his goal scoring obviously. Uh, Ross McGrory comes in in defence, that's uh, the brother of our keeper Robbie McGrory, obviously Ross plays for Rangers in real life. He I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep him, to be honest. He's got six months left on his deal. Uh, he's alright as a backup, but obviously Kerr Waddle and Aidan Wilson are our sort of main guys. We've got a couple of defenders out on loan, and we've got, I believe his name is David Clarkson, a youngster coming in from Dundee United. And speaking of the devil, <laughs> Jamie Semple gets the goal that puts us 1-0 up. But yeah, we've got a lot of options in defence. Uh, I'm just worried that there's a few of them that might not be uh, good if we get promoted for the, uh, sorry, as good as they need to be for the SPL sort of thing. Hopefully that's not the case, but we've really got a strong team uh, going into the SPL. I believe if we if we do get promoted, we can basically at least be a top six club, I would say. I don't know if we're as talented to obviously get the results needed to be competing with like the Rangers, the Celtic, the Aberdeen sort of thing but I do feel that we are, we should get there, we should we should certainly be at the SPL level. We'll catch up with the league games that we missed from uh, Kilmarnock at the end of the episode. I just wanted to get into this game because obviously it's a Fife Derby. Uh, the last time we played Dunfermline I believe we beat them 3-1. There is obviously a change. It was always been tight in the Fife Derby games if, from what I remember uh, between East Fife Cowden Beef and Dunfermline and Rafe Rovers as well. I've, I don't remember ever losing one, I might be wrong about that. Maybe East Fife? I can't actually remember, I would have to check that. I, but I don't think I've ever lost one. There's been a lot of draws, I think particularly with East Fife, I think there was a lot of draws. Uh, so it's half time and we're 1-0 up. We're doing pretty well to be honest, I'm not really 100% sure if I should change stuff we'll just yeah we'll just go with maybe we can do better but yeah I'm excited to have Wayne Rooney a part of the team I never actually noticed the registration thing uh, until I tried to play him in a league game I think or I was going to put him on the sub bench he is still struggling for fitness as well match prep so he's been playing a, a lot for the under 20s I'm just going to make a couple of subs here so he will get uh, games in the cup we do have a cup game against Preston Athletic next to our East of Scotland team, so like way, way down the leagues compared to us. So we'll play that just for a wee morale booster. Hopefully we can get a really, really decent scoreline. I'll probably play a couple of the guys that have not really had a, many chances, like James Scott, the young striker, uh, Archie Mayer, obviously, in goals, and probably uh, Daniel Church at left-back. Uh, I've been playing Scott McKenna at left-back. He's obviously, um, I think he's our captain or vice-captain. He's not really had much chance at centre back because Kerr Waddle and Aidan Wilson have been so good. And it's 2 0, it's Kerr Waddle. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should just start mentioning every player that plays for me and they'll score for me. That's brilliant. So we're, it looks like we're comfortably seeing this game out. And I'm a bit surprised, obviously, away from home at East End Park. We were favourites to win it. Uh, Dunfermline do have some decent players for that level. So I'm a bit surprised that we're sort of running away with it now, but it's good. It really is good. But yeah, we're going to try and keep going with the Cups, doing our best. I'm going to try and retain the Iron Brew Cup, because as I say, it might be the last season we play in it. It would be good to sort of go out away winning it two consecutive reasons in a row. I don't actually know... I don't know if that's ever been done, actually, to be honest. Because it's a lower league competition. It's a League, league 2, League 1 a championship teams only, so... Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a decent one against the Pars. We'll just have to see what else happens, really. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like Dunfermline are going to get back into this. But you never know. I have seen some comebacks in the past, obviously. Uh, nope, <laughs> they're down to 10 men. Oh, poor. Cami Palmer is sent off for Dunfermline. They're down to 10 men. I don't think they'll get back into it. In other news, I'm probably, I've got a lot of staff that are up. Their contracts are running out uh, next season. So I probably, uh, there's some of them I probably won't renew because we're we could probably get better coaches going into the SBL if we do get promoted. Uh, other than that, I mean, we've got affiliations that we've removed. Uh, Stirling University have been one. I didn't think I needed it. Aberdeen being the other. If we get promoted, that would be terminated anyway. So, uh, yeah, that uh, I think his name's Edward something. Something Edward said. Uh, I actually thought he was on loan from Kilmarnock, like Adam Prizzle. He was actually Aberdeen. I've, I've rarely used him, so... Uh, he's probably likely to leave. I'll probably. I don't know if I can actually send them back, but if I can, I'll be doing that in January. But yeah, the, it's going well. We are on good form. Obviously, I'll show you the leak after uh, this is over, and it is over. We want to know good, good victory over our rivals. Good game, guys. So just to catch up after the Kilmarnock game, we had a, a three games in the league. We had a game against Ayr, and as you can see, quite a comfortable win, but even more comfortably, we had a game against Falkirk, which we absolutely dominated. Semple just being the man again, Jack Edson being that super sub. And this one was a bit more tricky actually, which is a bit surprising because Dumbarton are a team sort of lower in the league, but we did manage to grind out the win there. But yeah, it took us it took us some time to do so, but I was happy that we won it nonetheless. Yeah, we'll focus more on the league when we have a league game. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We will come back for that uh, Scottish Cup game against Preston Athletic. Please don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you for that cup game.